Sasha, I'm a little random. Welcome and welcome back. All right. Okay, so today I am going to share with you my favorite plant shelf. Now, um, it's not that every single plant on the top is on the shelf is my favorite. It's just that I love the combination, how it came together, um, with how I put it together and on this shelf. It just looks nice to me. So I'm going to show you a picture here of what it looks like. Okay, um, that's what it looks like. You can kind of see what plants are where. I did have to cut the light out just because the glare was a little bit um, overwhelming in the pictures. Uh, I tried to do it with a flash, but whatever. Anywho, these are the plants. I'm going to give you a show of them. Um, what I'm going to do is just stand in front and just kind of pull them down one by one and give you a close up of what I have and what's there on my favorite shelf. Okay, let's get started and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so we are here. Now, um, I had to cut the light off because we were getting some really bad uh, backlighting. See? Not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut that off for right now, okay? Um, I'm just going to pull them off individually. Hopefully I remember where they go back because I like the way this looks and I just reorganized it. <laughs> I did take a picture, so that should help, right? Okay, so let's start with the most obvious one that I keep mentioning every time I have a video lately. And that is my... And Therium radicans, okay? Check that out. Head test. <laughs> All right, so this is beautiful. Um, I do have a leaf that is fading. Um, it is this one. I don't know if you can tell the color. It might just be uh, washed out because I have it under really bright light. But if you can tell these, this uh, very light spot right here, I think it's just going out. But that's fine. Um, randomly, there is a type of what I think is a fern planted in here. It came like this. It started off with like maybe one or two leaves, two or three leaves. And uh, now we have this bush. I'm just going to leave it until I have to repot the whole plant. And then I'll split it off or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I, I should ask the seller if they know what it is and if they meant to put it in here on purpose or if it just grew from, you know, old soil or something. But whatever. I'm going to set these to the side um boom okay so what should we do next um let's do an orchid okay uh, so this is my phalaenopsis orchid um it's got a lot of roots we're working here and a lot of leaves a lot of leaves okay um i did get this to bloom this year this is what it looks like uh very pretty purple and white very pretty and purple and white i just um I'm really happy with this. It's bloomed twice for me. Once when I first got it, and then I've gotten it to rebloom, which is really hard to do. Um, it's fall now, so what I'll end up doing is putting it, moving these to the window at some point because they like cool weather to help them bloom sometimes. Um, and so the window does get a little bit cool, but doesn't get freezing because we just got the windows done. And hello, you know that whole energy thing going on. But um. So this is my Phalaenopsis orchid. I've had it since 2020, and it's been doing very well for me. Got some nice roots, okay? Now, um, what else, what else? Uh, let's do one that people don't really see a lot. Um, I got this zebra plant, and honestly, it caught spider mites at one point. And, uh, it caught spider mites at one point, and I had to chop it all. I had to chop it all down to the roots okay see if I have a picture I'm gonna put it right here I may have lost that picture because I had to delete some things and you know this that and the other um, but honestly look at this this is just so nice it's, it's called a white zebra plant is it is that what it's called white zebra plant yes <laughs> um, I really like it it grew back pretty well it's not as bushy as it was but um, I still really like it. It's still very pretty and it looks very different to me. I love the margins. I love the white with the green. It's just very, very pretty to me. But um, it grew back um, in, in, in like two, two months. It got to here. Um, it hasn't grown much since. I do have some new growth up here if you can see that. And if you can see that right here. Still getting a little bit of wash. Let me see if I can cut my lights down a little bit. Hold on. Okay, let's see if that's a little better. That is a little better. Okay, we're going to stick with that, okay? Sorry my camera's shaking. Let's see if we can steady that. 
All right, boom. All right, so um, white zebra plant. Um, and a lot of people haven't seen it before. Uh, let me know, have you seen the white zebra plant? Uh, most people have seen the regular zebra plant, um, the alphalandra something. I can't recall the exact name, but it's part of the alphalandra uh, family. Um, but very few people have seen the white zebra plant, and I rarely see it, to be honest with you. I rarely see it in stores. I rarely see it in videos. And I watch a lot of videos <laughs> every day. It's an addiction. Um, next to my Amazon addiction, of course. But anyways, let's keep it moving. Um, let's see. I do have some props. Uh, this is a Monstera prop propagation. Um, it's a little washed out, so I may need to move this um, out of the way as well. And then I'm propping some string of uh, spades. String of spades. Um, boom. Boom. I, it won't focus. Maybe if I move my head. Hold on. Let's move my head. Bow. It's not focusing for me. Bow. Yes. I want you to see this very clearly. Hold on. Let's see. No? All right. Well, we'll let it go. I, if I can, I'll put a picture on the screen of a close-up of some of the leaves. They look really pretty. Um, often mistaken for um, string of uh, hearts, um, but if you compare the two, you can tell that they're different quite a bit. Uh, one is a little bit more bulbous, the other one has a little, a little narrow tip, uh, a little much more narrower tip. And then there's string of daggers, which I also might still get. Might. I don't like to have plants that look too much alike, even though I think you will see that I have certain plants that look similar, but not that much alike. Um... This is an Apicia. Uh, it it hasn't done well for me. It has not done well for me. It's it grows oddly. It folds. It I can't keep it watered. It's small. Like okay, honestly, I I just shouldn't have plants this small. These this little two inch, two inch was it two inch? Yeah, two and a half, three inch pot thing. I can't I can't do that unless it's a cactus because I I don't have to water it every time it gets dry. I can wait. Um, but that's that one. Um, my least favorite plant on this shelf <laughs> at the moment. Uh, let's see. Let's do a Hoya. Okay. So, this is my whew, Hoya Macrophylla. Check out that leaf right there. You see it. You see which one I'm talking about. That one right there. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's another one like that. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just nice. But this started off really small. I got it in April. Um, this is what it looked like in April. This is what it looks like now. Uh, I do not have a trellis for this. I probably should get one. Um, I, I might actually just want to wait for it to dangle. I haven't figured that out yet, but I actually have no plants with one is trellis. I've never used a trellis before a day in my life. Um, this seems to be doing just fine without one. So I can imagine what it would do with one. I also don't know how I would fit it in my space with the trellis because I would want a really big one so I wouldn't have to change the pot. Um, change the trellis every time it grew. Because this is growing like crazy. And I realize that the season is about to change and it may slow down. But honestly, this is a controlled plant room. Okay, by that I mean I keep the humidity at 60% or higher every day for 12 hours. I keep the lights on for 10 to 12 hours every day. So it's not like it's going to go through a temperature change per se. Um, it may go through like a 5 to 10 degree temperature change just because, you know, winter is winter. And um, I do tend to close my vents in here just so it doesn't dry out um, from the heat. Um... But other than that, you know, it's just a control room. So it may still continue to grow uh, is what is my point. Um, let's see. Let's do another orchid. Last one. I know everybody's not into orchids, but this one is really pretty. Just bear with me, okay? This is a Paphiopetalum, also known as a lady slipper. The name is uh, Shirley Amundsen. Yes. Uh a Munson. Yes, I think I said that right. <laughs> it's on the screen. If not, you know, you, you can figure out how to, how to say it, right? Um, this, again, I've gotten to bloom once. Uh, the other one I got to bloom twice. This is what the um, flower looks like. I don't know what is going on with my words today, but this is what the flower looks like. 
Um, very, very pretty. Um, and I really, really like it. It's so interesting looking. I have never seen, um, uh, 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 what is this? Orchids leaves look like this. I've seen the variegated ones. I want one of those as well, but I've never seen one like this until I started researching orchids more. And thanks a lot, Etsy, for showing me this because now I need more. Um, I also want to try Catalea, so maybe in the next, you know, plant tour I'll have one or get one or, you know, this, that, any other. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's set this down. All right. So, has anybody got, had, does anybody have any of these that I have pointed out so far? Okay. No? Yes? No? Yes? I'm going to say yes. Somebody does. Maybe not you, but you. Okay. All right. So, um, let's do the plant that grows the very absolute slowest. This one here. This one here. Though pretty grows very slowly okay um, I have had this since 2020 I've gotten maybe four leaves it's 2022 did it go through the COVID season too I don't understand um, but anywho uh, this is a philodendron birkin um, did I name it yeah I didn't I did name the orchid um, this is a philodendron birkin and I got some new growth coming in here somewhere if you can I don't know if you can see it right here where my finger is uh, kind of tucked in like a little slipper, but uh, I, I, I think this plant is so overrated. It's still very pretty. It's still very pretty, um, especially when you can get it enough light to get leaves like this. Like, it's hard to get leaves like this, and they're very succulent leaves, very succulent leaves. And, um, but look at that. The striation, the striation is absolutely pretty. It's absolutely pretty. Look at that. Um, it just grows so slowly, and honestly, it took me a while to figure out the lighting for this one um to get that coloring i don't know how other people do it regularly i i i honestly don't um but yeah so this is the philodendron birkin okay uh let's see where can i set this this can go here um let's go for a sad plant before we do the last one <laughs> um not my least favorite but the saddest okay all right so we have i just watered this so i want to make sure that i don't have uh, okay, so this used to look very pretty, okay? Um, you see I had a whole lot of pictures on it. Um, I had a lot of pictures on it and whatnot. I'm not going to pick on this now. I really want to. Do you pick on your plants? Like, do you like pulling um, dead leaves and, you know, the old sheets off? I find myself doing that obsessively on occasion. It's just like, oh, and then next thing I know, I've gone through the whole room just and have a trash can half full of dead sheaths and leaves and whatnot. Um, but anyways, this is a, uh, a Nepenthes ventricosa. Uh, my very first one. Uh, I did have another one. It died. Uh, it got caught up in the spider mite thing, and I just had I had to let it go. I just I had no patience for it. I got rid of a lot of plants, and I cut back a lot of plants, like the the zebra from earlier. That was one of the victims, so not my fault. I didn't kill it on purpose. It just, I had no patience, so I just, I just threw it out. It was time. Um, but this one survives mostly. One of the issues I had with this is that it does like bright lights. Um, I decided to move it in a corner by a window where it got very little light, and I started getting brown stems and, and brown leaves and everything. But once I put it back into this bright light back here, I got a new sprout. That's a whole nother plant right here. That is a whole nother plant. Can you tell? Look. It's a whole nother plant. And this started sprouting up at the top. And it didn't take long either. It really didn't. Um, it really didn't take long at all. But uh, Nepenthes ventricosa. I really wanted to buy a big one. Like one that's already big and like a six inch pot. I've had this for I believe uh, two years also. Um, yeah, I want to say two years, but look at the cute little pictures. Isn't it nice? Isn't it cute? They are adorable. Um, anyways, we're going to put this back. Uh, I'm going to put this back in the back here. This is just, um, my propagation of, uh, what is it? My propagation of, I might have to play some holding music <laughs> or just fast forward. Um, Alocasia, uh, it's a mix of Alocasia poly and Alocasia 
um, black velvet um, uh, not plugs but um, corms in here um, and I have this I did think to do it in sphagnum I did dirt instead but it's, it's in soil not dirt sorry um, it's, it stays very humid I keep a little crack right here so you see that I keep a little crack right there just to air it some out, air it out some okay so uh, last but not least this is a new plant so um, spoiler alert because I'll be doing a September haul uh, probably next video because today is the 25th or 4th or 5th or 4th something it's a Saturday I know it's a Saturday so whichever one of those dates is a Saturday um, I'll be doing a reveal of this one here it's already given me one new leaf and another leaf is on the way um, and I've only had it for about two and a half weeks, okay? So I'm ecstatic. Uh, no, it's been two weeks, not two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Two weeks. Definitely two weeks. Because um, it's another Saturday and I got it on Saturday, so yeah. Um, this is the Green Dragon. Uh, philodendron, I believe. <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't remember if it's a philodendron or not. If it is, I'll put it on the screen. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but it's very pretty. Look it. Um, it's got I love the shape of the mature leaf it looks like a dragon's head to me so I get why they call it a dragon and if you look closely let me see if I can find you the good leaf there are little speckles of green in here if I can get it at the right angle um there are little speckles of green in here bright green that are in here and that is um just simple and pretty to me um a person related it to a Thai constellation. I don't think there's quite that much variegation in it. I have never seen one with that much variegation in it. But whatever, to each their own. Um, but I do like the little the little speckles here and there. It's very pretty. Um, simple. And I just love the shape. This is the newest leaf that came out. Um, it's still hardening off. So it may actually get a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's still hardening off. That's definitely hard. It's still still very thin and light um but this is the last plant and this is golden dragon now if you look to the other side here you will see what a this is a green dragon but you will see a golden dragon over here we saw one in a six inch pot at a plant show five thousand freaking dollars okay i will not be spending that much money on a plant i will not but that thing was beautiful. I should have took a picture of it, but I was busy just trying to enjoy myself and get to the plant that I wanted before somebody else got to it. You'll see which one that was when I do the video about the haul. The haul for September. Yes. Um, so that is the Green Dragon. And, I mean, you can just tell from where the leaves started. Who would think that when it started here, or even right here... That it would get to this like who studied this and figured it out honey yes that is gorgeous oh I love it I love it and it's so shiny because I did just wipe the leaves on this one um I may need to change the soil it's giving me a lot of mutation which is when it produces um, excess water on leaves um, so I may need to change uh, the, the um, medium that is in uh, I'm not sure maybe it just dried out a little quicker wherever it was before but um, it's very healthy, and I have a new leaf coming in right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's coming in oh, right there. Um, and I can tell because this is thick, and I can see a little tip of the leaf right there. I'm not going to touch it because I will break it. I'm, I'm clumsy, okay? <laughs> I will break it. So we're going to put this back carefully, right? Okay. Let's move this back to where it was. All right, so I'm going to put these back, and... We're going to see you for the uh, outro, okay? All right, give me two seconds. <laughs> okay, so we're back. I'm back in my seat. Um, I'm very curious to know how many people have a favorite shelf or a favorite corner in their, uh, where they live. And I just, maybe it's me, but I just, I'm very proud of this shelf. It's been put together multiple times I'm pretty sure I'll rearrange it again uh, because I, I do like to rearrange my plants quite often maybe every month or so every two months or so even if it's just one plant that I swap out or move because something got bigger um, or I got a new plant or you know whatever um, 
But do you? Do you have a favorite corner or a favorite ho houseplant shelf? Like, I'm wondering. Uh, anywho, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your day. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe. <laughs> Don't be strangers. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think, what you like. If you have any new tip tricks or ideas that I can use, let's share them in the comments and everything, okay? So, I guess I will just see you. Laters. Mm -hmm.